In this video, you are finally going to understand what components are. I'm going to make an example in Nullstuck, but the same principle applies to any front-end framework. Even if my grandmother had components, it would still follow the same principles. To teach what's a component, I'm going to use a League of Legends example, because most people who don't know what a component is are playing instead of studying. To understand what's a component, we first must understand what applications are made of. Besides CSS, everything in our application are tags inside of tags. Tags describe where each thing goes, and some tags have attributes, like the image tag has a source attribute telling us which image to load. The first thing to note in this example is that besides name, everything else are repeated tags. Our code would be much cleaner if we could create a champion tag and simply give it a name just like the image has a source. And that's all a component is, a custom tag that expands into a list of another tags. If anyone gives you a more complex explanation, they are just trying to justify a senior salary to code HTML. To create a component in Nullstack, we just have to create a file with the name we wanna give to the custom tag. Custom tags must start with an uppercase letter and live in a file with the NJS extension. In this case, champion.njs. In the first line, we must import Nullstack. And right below it, we must declare a class with the name of the tag and extending Nullstack. Extending a class in JavaScript means we are inheriting all the behavior from the parent class. Therefore, all the problems of creating a component are at come resolved for you. You can think of the Nullstack class as a toolkit that solves a lot of problems that you don't even know you have. And at the bottom of the file, you must export your class. When you export a class, you are saying that another file has the permission to import it and use the tag. This code is already a valid component, but it is still useless, just like League of Legends players. The first step to make it useful is to implement the render method. Render is simply a function that returns HTML and has nothing special about it. The easiest way to code this render is to copy the HTML of one champion in our application and paste it inside the return statement. So far, we described what our new tag does, but we haven't used it yet. To be able to use this tag, we must import the class in the file we want to render it. In this specific case, we are going to import champion inside the application. And now we can replace all this HTML with the tag champion and just give a name to each one. The code got much cleaner, but when we go back to the browser, we see Jinx three times. That happens because we declared the name attribute, but we never explained to our component how to use it. All attributes are passed as an argument to the render function. Nullstack has one argument per function, and it's called the context. And we can destructure the attribute from inside the context. Destructuring is just a fancy way of saying call between curly brackets. And now we have a name variable that we can use to replace the Jinx name with a dynamic name. We are going to replace both in the h2 and the image source. To invoke a variable inside JSX, which is this HTML inside JS, we must use the variable name inside curly brackets. However, to use it inside another attribute, which already has a string, it's a little more complicated. We are going to use something called concatenation, so pause the video until you understand the syntax. Now our application looks the same in the browser again, but the code is way cleaner and if we modify something in one place, it's going to bubble to all the application. If you don't care about how your code looks, at least you care about your time. And the better you organize your code, more time you're gonna have to play, instead of hunting for bugs. To improve this component, we can add state. State simply means variables, but speaking in a way that gives you arrays. To add a variable to a class, simply add its name on top of render and give it a default value. In this specific case, the variable is gonna be called level and have a default value of 1. To call an instance variable inside JSX, again just call it inside curly brackets, but this time with the prefix of this. To show the benefits of having a state in our component, I'm going to add a div with a button inside of it. Just like in regular HTML, we can pass an event called onClick as an attribute. But in Nullstack, it receives the reference of a function. This function is going to be declared in the same class and be called level up. And as it's part of the same class, we must use this again. To declare this function, we are simply going to put its name on top of render, followed by parentheses and curly brackets. For now, all this function is going to do is to take the level variable and increment by one. And now we can inspect element in the browser and click the button. The first thing to note is that Nullstack is only updating the DOM in places in which variables change at value. Doing this manually is a lot of work and you have to keep a lot of information in your head. This is one of the reasons that developers use front-end frameworks. The next thing to note is that each champion has its own level, but we only had to code this behavior once. 
This is possible because every time we use a tag, Nostack generates a new instance. Let's improve this component by adding a second button. This button is going to increment two levels each time we click. Just like in regular HTML, we can use data attributes. In this button, we are going to use a data experience. And now in the level up function, we can structure the data, and then increment the level by the data.experience. Back in the browser, we have two buttons for each champion. One adds a level, and the other adds two levels. The problem with this is that we started repeating ourselves again, but this time it would be more work than benefit to create a full new component just for a little button, and that would give us a new problem of having to pass the state and the functions down to the new button. Nullstack already has a solution for that, called inner components. To declare an inner component, you just have to declare a new method on top of render. The method name has to start with render, followed by the name of the new tag with an uppercase letter. In this case, render experience button. Inner components take attributes just like the regular components. Let's pass an attribute called experience to the value of the that experience of the button. And we can also make dynamic the number inside the button. Now let's replace the two old buttons with the new tag and add a new one to prove nobody's cheating. Now take a look at our application. It does exactly what we want, with minimal code and no bullshit, and Ustak takes care of everything else. To finish this lesson, we are going to use the level variable to conditionally render a p tag. Inside curly brackets, let's create the condition. If the level is greater or equal to 6, we are going to display the p tag. And back to the browser, if we click any handle number for enough times, our ultimate skill is going to be available, just like in League of Legends. This is the first video of a playlist about the basic concepts of Nullstack and JavaScript. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment. And if you want more videos about Nullstack, like, subscribe and leave a star on GitHub.